So the first thing we need to do uh, is we have to create a password for our user accounts. Um, to do that, there's a utility, slap password. Um, this will create a password hash that we're going to use in the file that we create with all of our user accounts. We're going to then import into LDAP. So I'm just going to run this. And I'm just going to use the same password that I use for my admin. Doesn't really matter. All right, so then it creates this password hash. You could create a bunch of different uh, password hashes if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be just the one because um, we're going to create three different users. Uh, so I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to come over here to my Notepad++. I have these notes over here. So I'm going to put uh, password hash for... So I did it for login pound one. And there's my hash. So now I have it saved in here if I need to reference it. And you could do a couple different passwords if you want to have a different password for every user account, right? If you kind of want to play with this. Uh, but the next step is we need to uh, create a file called users. And again, you could use VI or Nano or something like that if you wanted to or Emacs to create these files directly in the command line. But I'm doing Notepad++ just because it's a little bit easier uh, to work in Notepad++. So I'm going to use users.ldiff. So this is going to be where we create all of our user accounts. I'm going to open that file, and I already have a, uh, I already have this kind of all written out here. Um, so you can see here I've got my user one, I've got a user two, and then a user three. For you, you may want to change these to something a little more descriptive, right? Maybe uh, you know your first name, last name is the username you know, and change some of this stuff. But this is just for demonstrative purposes. So, um, you know, I have it in here um, just as user one and two and three. We do have to update the password hash, right? Or else our user won't be able to log in. So where it says hashed password here, that's just a placeholder. We're gonna put that hashed password. And again, you may have created three different hashed passwords so that you have a different password for each user account when you test this. And that's it. So once you make these modifications to the file, you're gonna save this. Now we have to import this. Uh, so to import this, we're going to use the exact same command that we used to create our base uh, structure, and when we, you know, how we created the uh, OU for users. Um, but this time, it's going to import all of our user accounts. And if you put the password incorrect, you should see it added three new entries. So I have three new user accounts now in my LDAP server.